A charity match involving some of football's biggest names is bringing a life-threatening condition into the public spotlight. Now in its fourth year, Relive the Rivalry supports muscular dystrophy, a crippling illness that can affect people of all ages. Yeah. Ten years ago, Michael Peters hadn't heard of muscular dystrophy. It's a terminal disease um, and can take the life of uh, children, well, people quite young. He and his wife Kylie's world was rocked when their son Lucas was diagnosed with the condition just nine months after being born. We went into an appointment at, at uh, 12 o'clock and uh, ten minutes later we came out of that appointment um, and, you know, our, our lives had changed completely. Um, you know, there was a lot of emotion and... Um, and a lot of bad news, to be honest. Um, and, yeah, it's, um, it's been something that, as a family, we've had to, um, I guess, come to grips with over time. Now nine years old, Lucas hasn't let the conditions stop him from living a normal life. In his spare time, he likes to play Xbox and is a lover of all sports. Cricket, soccer and um, basketball. But it's Australian rules football that holds a special place in his heart. He started as a Hawthorne supporter. There was a sudden change. I don't know where it came from, but just out of the blue and decided he'd go for Melbourne. And uh, there's been a lot of people along the way trying to talk him out of it and go for other clubs, but he's stuck true and, yeah, I'm proud of him for it. Who's your favourite player? Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones? Actually, Jesse Hogan. Oh, you've changed. <laughs> what do you like, Jesse Hogan? Because he keeps a lot of goals. Muscular dystrophy is a rare condition, only affecting around 80 Tasmanians. Raising funds sometimes gets lost in the bigger picture with all the um, large um, charities who have a much higher profile than us. That saw a family friend of the Peters have a brainwave. When I got out of football halfway through 2011, I just uh, felt that we miss out on so much in Tasmania. And obviously Michael's son was crook. And I just thought that if I could combine both and call upon the networks and people I've uh, met over the journey, we might be able to pull something off. And that's when Relive the Rivalry was born. Now in its fourth year, some of the biggest names in Australian rules football have played in the match, including Brendan Favola, Tony Modra and Terry Danaher, with local hero Matthew Richardson set to make his debut this year. People get to play football in front of their children for the first time instead of reading a scrapbook and they see Dad played footy, they actually see Dad play live and brothers play with each other or mates that have played in State of Origin games and stuff 20 years later play again. So it's a fantastic thing for a lot of reasons. This year's match will be held at North Hobart Oval this Saturday from 2 o'clock. What do you like about Relive the Rivalry? Um, I get to see all the superstar, like the AFL players. 100% of all profits raised go directly to the cause. Any help we can get is just wonderful. In uh, Lucas's case, um, his uh, diagnosis suggested that um, he'd lose the battle um, very early, um, but he's uh, proving them wrong at the moment. Brent Costello, Win News.